articles and have some follow-up questions there anyway. You mentioned the Independent. Independent. Uh, there's an article in this morning's Wall Street Journal. I don't know if you've seen it yet, Chris, by know. Jason Swag about uh, you know J.P. Morgan or Morgan Stanley is buying E Trade. E Trade, yes. And the, you know the question is why are they doing that? Yes. Well, the key is is to accumulate dollars and get assets and make the money on stuffing money that's idle money, if you will, in their banks. Yes. Where mm-hmm. they don't pay any interest, and that's where they make the money. Because as as we've discussed in the past, and I think our listeners probably know. Is going to zero commissions. There's, you know, the profitability in trading stocks and bonds and mutual funds is almost out the window for those firms. It is. But the question is, where do they make their money? They make their money on cash. Joe. Exactly. Uh, and I have heard uh, one of the uh, theories postulated was that they bought E Trade so that so that Morgan Stanley would have greater access to borrow, you know, uh, capital themselves. Right. Right. And they paid like twenty five hundred dollars per household. So the average household E Trade is not generating that. So. Uh-huh. So they must know something we don't as far as paying that much for, for that company. Yep. So that's the, and that's the reason why, we, well, one of the benefits, I think, of being an independent firm is, num- is mostly we don't have to use the house product because we have no house products. And so if they sell their mutual funds, they have a management fee built into the fund. There may be no cost to buy it. Correct. But within that fund, you have what's called an expense ratio, exactly. and that's where they make the money. Exactly. So you got to pull back the curtain and find out what's going on there. But anyway, that's the Benny. You said independent this morning, Kyle, and that's, that's why, why we are independent. independent. Uh, All right. You know, there's so many things you read in the news and the headlines that I'm scratching myself, uh, by scratching my head going, what? But you're in the industry every day, and that is a perfect example of why I tune in and why I like doing this show is that that puts it in perspective for me. And it's I, I the economy of today is not the one. I mean, we had this conversation last week about it. it's not the one from ten years ago even. Right. And keeping track of how fast it's moving is is phenom- is just it's mind boggling to me that I'm not even in the industry. Yes. Right. Well, lots of information so. out there, Kyle. But I think one of the differences that we make as financial advisors is we bring perspective and hopefully wisdom to a client situation. So lots of information, but sometimes weeding through that information to distill it down to what is important for me is difficult. So mm-hmm. that's one of the things we do. Yep. And that's uh, in the fact that you come to the radio each and every week to give us that is fantastic.